Mm-hmm. What do you find the biggest barriers are that are stopping mainstream schools or organizations picking this up? I think the number one thing is fear or fear of discomfort. And what we're finding is that for those adults to feel comfortable to take children out into natural spaces, they themselves need to feel comfortable in those outdoor yeah. spaces themselves. 10 years ago, we used to talk to people and they like, what are your childhood memories of play? What ways did you play as a child? And mm. a lot of the answers would be outdoors, away from adults and with other children. Yeah. The responses we're getting now from adults or teenagers in out of school hours care settings is their play experiences were not outdoors. Their play experiences as children had lots of parents and lot of, lots of adults present and they were often solitary. So the landscape of experience and play is changing. So play is moving online for a lot of children and a lot of teens. And these are the teens that are then working in schools and early learning centers. So Peter Gray talked a lot about the fact that children these days are finding freedom, opportunity to explore, community to connect with through online gaming. So it's filling a need that is not accessible to them in real life. So it's filling a space, but the impact that that is having is we don't have, or we are not going to have a community of adults that has those fond, like heart filled memories of engaging with nature that they can bring into their experiences of supporting children in the next generation to build those experiences, which is frightening. 